welcome to another tour. The vehicle that we'll be showcasing in this video is this 2018 Kia Soul Plus. This exterior paint color is known by Kia as Inferno Red. On the driver's door panel, you've got some storage with a bottle holder, speaker for your sound system, and right here you've got all the power controls for your windows, door locks, and mirrors. It has a black interior color scheme, and this Soul Plus has the standard cloth seat upholstery. Both front seats are manually adjusted. And now that we're behind the wheel, let's go ahead and start the engine. The Kia Soul debuted back in 2010 for North America, and in the following years, this spunky little five-door would be met with a massive surge of unexpected popularity. So much so that nowadays, the Soul is hands down one of the most commonly seen cars on the road, solidifying it as an absolute hit. Its boxy shape allows for a surprisingly roomy and practical interior despite the car's small dimensions and its unusual quirky styling cues inside and out set it apart from much of its competition. And to top it all off, Kia launching what is now an iconic ad campaign for the Soul with animated human-sized hamsters driving around in it probably helped too. The Soul is classified as a subcompact crossover SUV, having more ground clearance and a higher seating position than a traditional sedan or hatchback, although unlike many of its competitors, it does lack all-wheel drive capabilities. As of the 2021 model year, the Soul is in its third generation. This 2018 model we have here represents the second generation Soul, which was produced for model years 2014 through 2019. Starting with this generation, an all-electric variant of the Soul was also introduced, known as the Soul EV. The second gen Soul's biggest update came for 2017, when it received some pretty subtle styling updates as well as a new engine and transmission combo for the top trim level in the form of a 200 horsepower 1.6 liter turbo 4 paired to a 7 speed dual clutch automatic. The gas powered 2018 Soul comes in three main trim levels, each with a different engine. There's the base model Soul, which has a 130 horsepower 1.6 liter naturally aspirated inline 4 paired to either a 6 speed manual or automatic transmission. From there, you get the mid range Soul Plus, like we have here which has a 161 horsepower 2 liter inline 4 paired solely to a 6 speed automatic. And finally, the range topping Soul Exclaim, which is powered by a 201 horsepower 1.6 liter turbocharged inline 4 paired to a 7 speed dual clutch automatic. This particular one is a lesser equipped Soul Plus. The Soul Plus can be had with many more options depending on the package. Competitors for the 2018 Soul included other subcompact crossovers that year like the Chevrolet Trax, Ford EcoSport, Nissan Kicks, Mazda CX-3, and so on. In Kia's 2018 crossover lineup, the subcompact Soul is slotted below the larger hybrid and electric only Nero. The gauge cluster houses four analog gauges, including your tachometer, speedometer, and your fuel and temperature gauges. There's also a digital information display. A 
It has a four spoke design, multifunctional steering wheel with sport grips at 10 and 2. On this side, right here, you've got your audio controls with your C track, volume, and different modes, along with your voice command button, your hands free phone controls. And on this side, you've got your cruise control, controls for your information display. And this button toggles between your different drive modes. You've got eco, sport, and normal. The steering wheel is tilt and telescopic. Fuse panel. Traction control. Brightness adjustment. Air vent for the driver. Got your exterior lighting stock. And right here you've got your wiper stock. Going down the center of the interior have your air vents up top along with your hazard light button here's your whole radio interface it does have a touch screen along with physical controls your volume power knob, tuning knob things like seat track and then a lot of your shortcut buttons right here you've got the controls for your single zone automatic climate control you've got your temperature knob auto and off Right here you got your fan speed, front and rear defrost, air conditioning or circulation, different modes, and the climate button is a shortcut button that brings you to here on your infotainment system, just shows your climate settings on there. Passenger airbag indicator, some storage. Also got two power outlets along with an aux port and a USB port. Putting in reverse does reveal a backup camera. The vehicle's parking brake is hand operated. Got two cup holders. Got a center console with more storage. Both sun visors do have vanity mirrors and lights. And the light mechanisms are the traditional Hyundai Kia ones where you can push it off manually or leave it on and sun visor closes it. On the overhead console, you got a sunglass holder, overhead lighting. There are grab handles at all four corners. Finally, we'll quickly look at the infotainment system. All your menus right here, so your radio screen, the Pandora, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, a lot of other apps that are grayed out right now. Climate takes you to the same screen as this, and as you change the climate control, it'll show up on here, obviously. Sirius XM, you got Travel Link if you have a subscription, so weather, sports, local fuel prices, movies playing, whatnot. Uvo, so roadside assistance, vehicle diagnostics, all that kind of stuff. So a pretty simple setup. And now, let's go ahead and roll down the driver's window and take a look at the engine bay. Both front windows are fully automatic. The plus trim comes standard with these 17-inch, 5-split-spoke alloy rims. The plus is also available with 18-inch rims. Uh, uh. 
Powering the Soul Plus is this 2 liter dual overhead cam, 16 valve, naturally aspirated inline 4 engine with gasoline direct injection. It cranks out 161 horsepower at 6200 RPM and 150 pound feet of torque at 4700 RPM. This engine is paired to a 6 speed automatic transmission with manual shiftability, and the Soul is front wheel drive. Running on regular unleaded with a 14.2 gallon fuel tank, Fuel economy estimates for the Soul Plus are 25 miles per gallon in the city and 30 mpg on the highway. The front suspension is a McPherson strut setup, while the rear suspension is a torsion beam setup. It has four-wheel disc brakes, with the front ones being ventilated. As for curb weight, the Soul Plus weighs in at about 3,163 pounds. As you saw earlier, the fuel cap is located on the driver's side. The rear door panel has another bottle holder, speaker for your sound system, your rear window switch. got 60-40 split folding rear seats to aid cargo space. The front passenger seat does have a storage pocket on the back. You've also got a coat hook on this side. And you've also got a folding rear center armrest with two cup holders. Single exhaust, rear wiper, the Soul can carry up to 24.2 cubic feet of cargo with the rear seats up, and up to 61.3 cubic feet with the rear seats folded down. And that will conclude this tour of this 2018 Kia Soul Plus. Thanks for watching.